Amari Cooper seeking a new contract. What does this mean for the Browns wide receiver depth chart room or does it mean anything, Tucker? I mean, usually it's just, you know, a contract negotiation strategy. But that being said, he's kind of like their only, I mean, they got Judy, but he hasn't really lived up to his, like what people thought he would be so far. Maybe maybe it'll help being on a new right. team. Um, but Amari is really like, you know, top the top tier guy. Behind that is like Elijah Moore, who also hasn't been hasn't been like great. And then they have a lot of young guys. Um, Cedric Tillman from last year, and then they draft uh, Jamari Thrash this year in the fifth. So they have some guys, but okay. it's just a lot of kind of young, unproven guys uh, behind Amari and then Judy. So if like Amari actually so they need to get Amari's contract. Yeah, done. It, it it's like to me, it's like the equivalent of like if CD was like holding out for like the Cowboys. It's like they don't have anybody else there. Yeah, yeah. Well, you mentioned uh, Jerry Judy's Jerry Judy, and uh, his former team is the next up on our list, the Denver Broncos. Cortland Sutton has ended his holdout for mandatory minicamp, uh, but he's still seeking a new contract. So, but he is going to uh, minicamp now. Uh, how likely is he to get a contract, uh, Tucker? Uh, I, I feel like, um, is there a world where the Broncos move on from him? Yeah. I mean, that's a tough one. Like I think, uh, receivers, I feel like he was, he's someone who they would bring back, but you know, maybe it's possible that he demands, you know, more than he, they think he's worth, you know, you never really know. We don't really know like what he's demanding or what his agent's demanding in terms of the the contract number and since receivers are so, so expensive right now i understand holding out I, I mean i think it makes sense because like you you just saw justin jefferson and amon raw get insane money so now you're like all right well i want at least i want know, insane money now yeah that tether, so uh so yeah he seemed pretty disgruntled in the uh the the uh interview he had but um i'm sure the agents working on it but like i feel like if they, they're kind of similar to is they don't really have anybody behind him that's a proven to yet like mims is really exciting you know but but he's still uh, uh, only a second year and didn't do much his rookie year exactly i mean I, i'm excited for him too and then like troy franklin and i mean if tim patrick comes back from from the double major injuries the last two years um but I feel like he's someone they definitely will try to get back because you kind of just need several good receivers. And he's kind of been their, their guy for years now. Yeah. And not having Russell Wilson on the books anymore will help for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, they're still paying Russell Wilson, though. But is, is that hit their I mean, cap like going? Yeah, I mean, like going in the future. Right. Um, like, I think I think the bulk of it is this year and there might be some next year. I'm not positive, but. You know, this would be more. They can structure it in a way where it hits later on. All right. Well, uh, our last news item is another mandatory minicamp holdout. Uh, Alvin Kamara skipped the Saints' final minicamp practice Thursday. Uh, what is believed to be for contract-related reasons, he was seen leaving the facility in street clothes before the workout. So uh, I don't know. What does this mean? Here, I mean, who do the Saints have behind Alvin Kamara running back right now on the depth chart? Yeah, so behind him, I mean, so Jamal Williams came in last year and he was kind of not, he was kind of disappointing, not nearly as, as like uh, efficient as he was on the Lions the year mm -hmm. prior. Um, and then he only ended up getting one touchdown at the end when he led the league in touchdowns, I believe, the year before. Right. Um, and then uh, their, their third round pick, uh, Kendry Miller, he's he seems really like talented though. I feel like if Kamara was gone, it'd be like Miller and then Jamal Williams spells him, you know. So I don't know exactly how the snaps will be distributed, but I feel like they're sort of shifting towards Miller as like their guy. Um, I really like Miller uh, for fantasy this season. I think he could be if you're drafting soon before you know news of him moving up in the depth chart ranks. Uh, you might want to grab him later in drafts, just as someone who could, you know, if this Alvin Kamara contract dispute doesn't work out. Yeah, and I know like it's been a it's because there hasn't been much progress with the contract talks. Um, it's why he didn't show up. Um, I believe that's what that's what reporters are saying, because he's like effectively in the last year of his deal uh, with how the way it's structured. I believe there's an out after this year. So it could be that they just move on, you know, after 
mm-hmm. this year. And I know they have, obviously they have cap issues all the time. So uh, with all like very, very old, older, very much an older roster. Um, so I could definitely see them trying to sort of go younger at that position. 